welcome students welcome to my next video topic number 5 fundamental rights civics standard 7 in the previous video we saw the constitution has granted certain rights these rights are right to equality whether you are a man or a woman whether you are a girl or a boy whether you are superior or inferior you have this right that is right to equality the next right we also saw was right to liberty now my dear students we see we have freedom of speech we have freedom of expression we have freedom to move anywhere in india we have freedom of union for pujas for prayers okay and not only that we have freedom to take any profession of your choice of our choice and there's one more right which has been enacted for children is right to education if a child is under the age of 14 they have right to education all this we saw in the previous video now in this video we will see all the other rights what are the other rights given to us now the next right which i am going to speak is very important that is right to freedom of religion as we all know our country is secular and we have right to select our own religion we have right to practice our own religion no one can force us to take any religion of against our choice so in the broader sense i will say state cannot impose religious taxes neither they can encourage any particular religion that is our constitution forbids religious taxes which was taken by akbar when he was here in india the second one is religious education cannot be made compulsory in educational institutions that receives aid from the state so with this we can conclude that every citizen in the country of india have a choice to select their own religion follow their own religious practice no one can influence them none of the political parties can influence them none of an individual can influence people freedom of religion is a choice your individual choice now my dear students we will see cultural and educational rights now when i say cultural and educational rights our constitution has given different communities right to preserve their own culture their tradition according to this the right all according to this right people are not only to free to preserve their own language script literature but also to make effort towards their promotion they can establish institutions for the development of their language for example 
let me tell you, I prefer Malayalam language. So I would like to speak in Malayalam. Converse people with Malayalam. I like the script and I like the literature which is in English. So I may go to an English medium school or a college to promote this literature. Now my dear students, further we will see right to constitutional remedies. Now what is this right to constitutional remedies. As we all know, constitution has given certain rights. These rights have to be exercised by the people. And if any individual or a group or a political party is stopping you to practice your rights, then you have every right to go to the court and get the constitutional remedies. You can go against an individual, you can go against a political party if anybody infringes your rights. You have all legal uh, power to go against an individual. Sometimes the rights that are guaranteed by the constitution may get encroached upon and we are not able to exercise our rights. This is called infringement of rights. The court consider our complaint, investigates it and in case it is convinced that the rights are indeed been infringed upon and injustice has been done then that individual or a group or a political party will be punished by the court and they will a court may give an appropriate verdict now my dear students there are few of writs what are these writs the court has a power to issue various kinds of writs to protect the rights of the citizen. One is habeas corpus. Protection from unlawful arrest and detention. Habeas corpus. Mandamus. An order of the court commanding the government to perform an action that is its duty to perform in public interest. Prohibition to prevent a subordinate court from exceeding its jurisdiction, covarento, to restrain a person from acting in an office to which he is not entitled to. So my dear students, let me tell you, these are few of the writs which we can practice it and we can get our rights. Now my dear students, because the fundamental rights are protected by the court and the citizens are able to exercise their rights, they can fulfill the role as an adult, as an alert, responsible, active citizen. While considering fundamental rights. We also need to remember there are certain duties. In the next chapter, my dear students, we will learn what are our fundamental duties. <laughs> so thus, I would like to end my lesson. I would like to end my video. If you are a new sub uh, viewer, Please subscribe it. If you like the video, please do like it and also share it with your friends. If the friends are not aware of this channel, please <coughs> send the link so that they may get awareness of this channel.
So thank you and I wish you all the best for your examination.